Luxoft recently became premium member of the Autosar partnership. Um, as you know, the Autosar partnership defines uh, software standards, interface standards for automotive software to make it easily uh, extensible, exchangeable and, and portable. In the future, uh, these standards uh, will change dramatically because the whole market is changing. Um, there's a new uh, direction in Autosar that's called Autosar Adaptive that's trying to incorporate also new software development paradigms. Autosar Adaptive is based on POSIX 51 and heavily on C++. And this is a big change because previous Autosar, which is now called Autosar Classic, was based on OSEC and very, very um, deeply embedded C. Autosar Adaptive addresses the need uh, for new software platforms for high performance computing. In the autonomous drive domain, that means uh, sensor data processing from cameras, from radars, from laser scanners. It incorporates sensor fusion algorithm, dealing with a lot of data that requires a lot of computing performance. It includes um, taking driving decisions, autonomous drive strategy that can be rule-based or more and more based on uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence. For that, um, big computing uh, power is needed and Autosar Adaptive uh, will be an enabler for that. In order to support quicker and cheaper start of such new projects, uh, Luxoft is building reference uh, uh, implementations of such platforms. So we have already a reference implementation for hardware board where we can easily uh, incorporate new CPU models, we can easily connect new peripherals. We don't do this as production units, but to start projects quickly. And in the same way, we are now also building an Autosar Adaptive a reference software platforms for the same purpose. We are not focusing on making this a commercial product, but it should be an enabler to uh, speed up learning curves, to speed up uh, project starts, and of course to become more exchangeable and more independent from the supplier landscape, uh, as this independence will be needed in the future. Uh, we are premium members of Autosar Consortium, and today we are going to show you a uh, uh, demonstrator for Autosar Adaptive. On the Minerv board, we have an Alexi container running the Adaptive Autosar implementation. This implementation is close to the reference one. As, uh, as a member of uh, Autosar Adaptive uh, Consortium, uh, this, this source code is open source. On, on Adaptive Autosar, we have three services, uh, which are handling the speed, the RPM, and the gear. And uh, uh, what you see here, it's it's uh, Neptune UI, which is running on the Genevi stack. And uh, uh, what what is displayed here is coming from the Autosar Adaptive container uh, through some IP. As Adaptive Autosar, it's not uh, providing by default a, uh, a tracing solution. We are giving the user the possibility to instrument their source code in order to trace events in the target. After giving the possibility to the user to instrument the code, uh, we can use DLT and uh, an application which is running on a PC or on any other platform to get this tracing data. The result is a BTF file, an open standard uh, for, for tracing, and we can use that BTF file to load it into our new uh, utility uh, called LuxTrace, which can be used for timing analysis. LuxTrace can be used uh, to verify if the trace is according to some expected requirements.